so very often you can hear people telling you crap like well, don't buy 1000 cc motorcycle because you're gonna get killed buy a beginner bike beginner bike is safer you should buy a small cc engine bike because it's much easier to ride yeah that's like a total bullshit to me and i explain you why <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back. In today's episode I'm going to talk a little bit about the marketing crap that people, you know, tell you so that you'll buy the beginner bike. Yeah, and that really pisses me off. So let's start the best up and get going. <laughs> The, today's episode is being recorded for the first time in 60 fps so yeah i'm still trying to find this sweet spot let's put it this way the very sharp crisp picture oh a biker where is he going red light dude i remember the last time i was standing like him the bus appeared you know <laughs> from the left side and uh, well i had to backtrack <laughs> like an idiot all the way up here The dog! Look below! Oh. What the hell? teach people oh, come on come on <laughs> a cup biker yeah So let's start with argument number one. Don't buy a 1000cc or 600cc because you're gonna get killed. You're gonna die. Yeah. Well, apparently, this is a very retarded argument because if you look at it this way, it is not the displacement that actually kills the newbie riders and aspiring bikers, it's the mentality that they have. If you buy the 1000 cc 250 or 50 cc moped all those vehicles are capable of you know achieving the speeds which will easily kill you in case of being hit by somebody or hitting somebody else yourself listen if you if you don't respect the machine the traffic rules and other participants of the traffic that you meet you know on the roads you, you're gonna die, you're gonna get killed or you're gonna kill yourself the risk of killing yourself or being killed is totally the same whether you're riding a 1000cc, 250 or a 50cc moped doesn't really matter now argument number two beginner bikes are safer <laughs> No, they are not. They are not. Most of them are capable of achieving 
50 miles per hour so in normal road conditions like be it I don't know urban area city public roads it doesn't really matter still the risk of dying is totally the same it's totally the same if you're gonna hit something or you're gonna get hit on a big CC engine or on a small CC engine doesn't really matter your bones are gonna break the same way that's the common truth <laughs> let's take countries like India for example or Pakistan or Philippines there's like a huge majority of people I don't know 80 percent 90 percent I'm just guessing right now but like a huge amount of people they are they, they, they ride beginner bikes yeah beginner bikes in inverted commas and they are not much safer than I don't know the rest of the people at all they die like flies every day You see how retarded this argument even is? Beginner bikes are safer. Safer how? You're still in the same traffic with the same people all around you. How? Oh, <laughs> oh I missed that. <laughs> Come on, come on. Yes. I just hope the sun is not gonna ruin the whole footage. Uh, Jesus. I don't know. But that's chance nowadays they behave like cows. Now, argument number three on our list. The beginner bikes are easier to ride. <clears throat> well, not entirely true. The only advantage of these so-called beginner bikes over, I don't know, normal bikes? Sports bikes? <laughs> Call them however you want. Bigger bikes, all right. It's the weight, the curb weight. So the lighter the motorcycle, well, then it's much easier to maneuver with, right? And that's probably it. I just can't think anything else. When we are talking about the normal riding and normal riding conditions, the bigger bikes are totally superior like totally superior take for example something so basic as starting and stopping just take a look at this guys neutral you put in first gear and now take a look no gas at all no gas see no gas can you do it on your R6 can you do it on your R3? Can you do it on your Ninja 250? Yes, you probably can. But take a look at this. Clutch, second. Then the bike still is going. Look at it go. Engine displacement. So that's cool about big bikes. You don't really have to worry about being, you know, in the right gear, <coughs> in the right gear, in the right time. Like you have the power band and the torque, like you know, everywhere. Not in like a very tight spot in between the revs, or like very high up, close to the rev limiter. 
and the same is about you know gaining speed fluently riding around the town cruising on a highway I don't know you can you can pass people on single gear without you know dropping it down I don't know some people hate it some people love it I actually love the fact that I can do it but I you know sometimes want to feel this atomic acceleration and I drop a gear down or two that will be it for today's video there is nothing much you know to add you know those three arguments I will talk more about the beginner bikes pluses and minuses of having one or starting your journey with motorcycles with one of them in the future episodes so stay tuned and well take care and I hope to see you in the next one bye